Hi, I'm Kristen Camella, I'm the Chief Science Officer for BioHeart. The field of regenerative medicine is really coming into its own lately, and I think there's a lot of confusion regarding the space and uh, what do some of the different terms mean and what are some of the different types of regenerative medicine. And I think oftentimes people will speak about regenerative medicine and use the term stem cell therapy interchangeably. And really stem cell therapy is just one small component of regenerative medicine and there are a lot of different types of cells and there are also different things that you can combine with stem cell therapy to create a truly regenerative response. So the concept of regenerative medicine is basically harnessing your body's own healing potential to reverse some of the effects of different degenerative diseases or maybe even acute injuries. So in the case of BioHeart, we really focus on bringing all of these different modalities together to create a truly regenerative response. In the case of stem cell therapy, there are a variety of different types of cells that can be utilized uh, to encompass this concept of regenerative medicine. So the most primitive type of stem cell would be an embryonic type stem cell. Um, and of course, embryonic stem cells have a lot of ethical issues associated with them and oftentimes uh, are utilized in the political arena uh, as part of political com campaigns. And in this case, uh, at BioHeart, we utilize what are referred to as adult stem cells. And these are cells that can be obtained uh, from an adult tissue and an adult source, meaning that we don't have to utilize any sort of embryo to obtain those cells. Uh, examples of adult type stem cells include stem cells from the fat tissue, uh, stem cells from muscle, stem cells from cord blood, stem cells from bone marrow, um, a variety of different sources. And what's different between the two types of cells is that an embryonic stem cell is designed to create an entire being. Uh, in other words, eventually will form a baby, whereas an adult stem cell is committed to only forming certain types of tissue. Uh, in the case of most degenerative diseases or the ones that we've been focusing on at BioHeart, we know that we want to form a specific type of tissue, so it makes sense to utilize a stem cell that's committed to forming these different types of tissue. In the, in the field in general, I think what we're going to begin to see is that the combining of some of these different stem cell techniques with things like biologics, cell enhancers, different devices, and even gene therapy, and putting all of these different things together to create a truly regenerative response for patients. There are two different ways that you can utilize stem cell therapy. One is being an autologous source, meaning that it would come from your own sample, own tissues, versus an allogeneic, which means that it would come from somebody else's tissue. Uh, the reason that you can utilize these cells in an allogeneic type way is because there's a specific population of cells called the mesenchymal cells, which are actually immunosuppressant, which means that not only will they not elicit an immune response, but they will actually suppress an overreactive immune system. So for this reason, you can utilize the cells in non-matched donors, and you can also use them to help suppress an overreactive immune system, which is often the case in autoimmune type diseases or things like graft versus host disease. Uh, at BioHeart, we actually utilize both type of cells. So we have autologous source cells, meaning that we get the cells from the same patient and then we also have a variety of different products where we're looking at an allogeneic type source. Uh, in particular we can utilize cells from another patient that have been culture expanded to isolate those mesenchymal type cells and those will not elicit an immune response if we place them into a non-matched donor.